<laughs> x plus 1. This should factor, right? Yeah. Now, now, yeah, now it should factor, right? So it's x plus 1, x plus 3. It should factor now. Is, is that right? Yeah. yeah, okay, good. What cancels? x plus 1. Yes, we get 1 over x plus 3. Then you set the bottom equal to 0. So you get x plus 3 equals 0. So you get x equals negative 3. It's really important to have the x equals, right, in this case, because it's a vertical asymptote. So basically, to find vertical asymptotes in a rational function, we do, we, I think we've done this before, you cancel, and then you set the bottom equal to 0. And since there's no k, you don't have to put work. Right, that's only with the trig functions. Yes, Logan? This is an offset question. Why wouldn't they put, like, they'll put, like, x cannot equal 0. Why don't we do that with vertical asymptotes? Where? Are identifying that the vertical asymptote is at where x equals negative 3, or we're saying that x cannot equal negative 3 because it's a vertical asymptote? No, we're saying that the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 3. Okay. Good question. Mm -hmm. By the way, what happens at negative 1? What do we have there? A hole. Is it removable or non-removable? Yeah, what about this one? Is it non-removable? Non yeah, good.